So Howard Kurtz is going to Fox News. Um, th this is the point where normally I would celebrate, do a little dance, and say I, I told everybody so. I got a little credit for it on Twitter. Thank you for those who uh, pointed that out. Two different shows on the TYT uh, network of shows. Uh, I, I made this claim within the last couple of months. Supposedly. I think in regard to supposedly. Fuck you, Johnny. <laughs> um, the, uh, no, on uh, the Jimmy Dore show, uh, which you can find on TYT Comedy, on, when I was doing a, a regular show with, uh, with Jenk on the Young Turks. Um, because... Uh, he, and this, the, the basis of all these arguments were that Howard Kurtz is cut from the cloth of a guy who so desperately wants to say both sides do it. I mean, that is really all Howard Kurtz has ever done, which is just say, you know, again, if somebody says, if 387 people, I mean, Howard Kurtz would be a perfect guy to, to say that climate change isn't real because you got, you know, 999,000 peer reviewed studies. You find six guys who are paid by the oil companies, real scientists, yeah. to say, I don't think so. And he's like, mm -hmm. unclear. Scientists on both sides. Yeah. Um, so when he lost his job at the Daily Beast, when he sort of foolishly, uh, uh, didn't his reaction to Jason Collins, the NBA player, coming out as gay was so baffling, saying that look, what I don't know about this guy. He was he was engaged to a woman. What about that? Yeah. What about that? Well, it's easy to question it because there's so many incentives for professional athletes to call themselves gay that you should really look into it. That's when the investigative journalism needs to start. That's right. So uh, it was, and Collins in the piece in Sports Illustrated, literally in the second paragraph, said. I was engaged. Mm -hmm. And Kurtz was like, he didn't mention that in the story. <laughs> I swear to God, I believe it, was, it might have been the third paragraph. Second Reading third. takes time. Yeah. yeah. Um, so he hadn't read, and then his apology was so like, well, he didn't emphasize it. I'm sorry that I didn't apologize enough. By the way, check out that Jimmy Dore video of uh, Howard Kurtz and uh, uh, comedian Ben Glebe is sensationally funny in that video. <laughs> so, um, uh, so at that time, it seemed to me that then uh, Jimmy Dore and I ran some clips of Howard Kurtz uh, suggesting that uh, both sides uh, were being uh, equally vitriolic about whether Obama was a Muslim. It's insane. Mm. It was just insane. Uh, because a, uh, a MSNBC host said that the Fox people were suggesting it when that specific host hadn't specifically said it in that specific second. Yeah. When we know Fox has inferred that and the whole right wing media machine has. So I just thought at the time, I'm like, you know, Howard Kurtz is cut out. Like, it's run, it clearly, reliable sources are going to have to let him go. Mm -hmm. uh, the show's terrible, reliable sources. I've been a guest on it, and I'm sure if Howard Kurtz pays any attention to the internet, I've been a guest for the final time. <laughs> I have um, never watched that. <laughs> um, but the show is, a, it is literally, it's based on he said, she said, so he can simply say, hey, look, both sides do it. Every, mm -hmm. you know, he, it makes no effort to get at the truth. And I thought, well, then this is a guy destined to spend his career at Fox News. See, but that's, I, I get that, I like you added on right there, there's no effort to get to the truth. I, I get that, and that certainly seems to gel with what they're looking for at Fox, but the whole, the, that both sides do it. Like the, the, the average Fox host does not criticize the Republicans. They don't criticize right-wing no, 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 media. No, no, no. But of course, what's the key to Fox getting a guy who isn't totally cut from their cloth? I mean, mm -hmm. the way the tobacco companies in the, 19, in the late 1950s and 60s wanted to find, give me six scientists who say, eh, maybe it doesn't cause cancer. Yeah. And give me 10 scientists here who say maybe climate change isn't really man-made. Yeah, you cast uh, a light shadow on the issue. You say, well, you know, nobody's really sure at this you point. You rely on people saying, I don't know. Exactly. Uh, yeah. and, and Fox's success isn't born, and the right success isn't born from creating uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of Ted Cruz's. Mm -hmm. It's done by taking complicated issues and making them seem simplistic and making it seem like, oh, nobody has an answer here. There are no real solutions. What, yeah. Gun violence, who's to say? Maybe it's better that everybody has a gun. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. Let's just leave it. Uh -huh. Let's just leave it. <laughs> um, and so he's perfect for that kind of debate. They don't want real media criticism. Mm -hmm. You think they want uh, Eric Bollert at Fox News talking about what's wrong with the media? Somebody actually pointing out what's wrong? Do no. you think, God forbid, that they would have wanted a guy like Michael Hastings at, at, at Fox News? Yeah, I'm surprised they let Shep Smith keep his desk, actually, some of the time. Um, so Howard Kurtz is a perfect guy for Fox News, and Fox News has ripped him in the past, of course, for being liberal and being a mouthpiece for Media Matters for America. So now when we criticize him, this is great. It'll fit exactly into what Howard Kurtz yeah, sees totally. the world. He's like, I got these guys from the Young Turks saying I don't deserve the job, but I was destined for Fox News. People on Fox News hate me. I'm the best media critic in the world. You're the worst media <laughs> critic in the world. The point, again, is to point out when the media makes a mistake, doesn't get a story right. 
And he just simply doesn't do that enough. He is very mm -hmm. eager to bring people on and find reactionary stuff set on the left, reactionary stuff set on the right, and wash his hands and saying, these people are nuts, all of them. Mm -hmm. Who's to say what the truth is? Your job is to get at the truth. Uh, you don't do it. You're perfect for Fox. And uh, uh, CNN's a better place without him. Yeah. Well, although that last stuff you said does seem like CNN's a pretty good home for him. The whole the, the faux uh, balance and everything. One, one thing I want to throw in, though, is there's this quote. Um, this is the second quote, by the way. He says, I want to thank CNN for giving me such a prime opportunity over the years and was tempted to continue, but the chance to create a revamped program and establish a strong online presence was too good to pass up. What I love about that is that it unnecessarily throws CNN under the bus. Like two weeks after they uh, launched this massive cooperative thing with BuzzFeed, yeah. to create the, the online shareable viral news videos. You don't videos. think Howard Kurtz goes and says, I want to create a new online thing for my for reliable sources? They would have said no? Yeah. No, I mean, I don't know. My hunch is they let him go. And, and by the way, also, Fox News' <laughs> online presence isn't amazing. TYTU passed Fox News' YouTube channel like three months ago in subscribers. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that, that seems like unnecessarily uh, bashing on CNN, but... Yeah, uh, I guess I CNN I, has I, earned I, I it in various know. And ways. maybe CNN tried desperately to keep him. I, I have no idea. No, it's entirely, uh, yeah, we don't actually know. But uh, significantly, many people at Fox News had been very uh, critical of him. Uh, uh, you know, when he, when Kurtz criticized uh, Karl Rove during his on-air meltdown uh, on election <laughs> night, where he was like, no, Romney won, Romney won, Romney won. We're wait, gonna wait. walk across the street. Um, Brett Hume tweeted he uh, likes Kurtz, but uh, should he be complaining about conflicts of interest when he has a dual role as a media critic and a CNN host, uh, Judith Miller, Judith Miller, by the way, is at Fox. <laughs> uh, isn't the only regular panelist on Fox News Watch. That's the show that Kurtz is sort of going to be taking over, mm -hmm. uh, who has criticized Kurt, uh, uh, Kurtz in the past. Judith, for Judith Miller to criticize somebody in the media, that is ballsy. That yeah. is, <laughs> I, I mean, I half admire her. Well, um, if you're going to point out how journalists fail and how they, they don't live up to the standards historically of journalism in America, I think that you should be an expert on it. And she seems like quite an expert. Actually. Yeah, totally. That's right. Uh, Fox News contributor Richard Grenell, uh, Grenell attacked uh, Kurtz before the 2012 election for supposedly concluding that, quote, Romney has gotten bad press, but it's deserved. And then he was like, hey, CNN, your media bias guy is biased. Uh, then uh, uh, at one point uh, he criticized Dana Perino because she conducted an interview with her former boss, uh, uh, George W. Bush, mm -hmm. and uh, Hannity uh, derided uh, the liberal uh, Kurtz CNN program as unreliable liberal sources. Very clever. Clever. Uh, by the way, that's so unclever that it honestly, I was like, Jenk would have said that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he would have proposed it as a master graphic, actually. That's right. And then <laughs> laughed and laughed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so Hannity referred to him as a liberal, called it unreliable liberal sources, referred to, referred to Kurtz as a nitwit. Uh, I don't like him. He's full of crap. I think he's sanctimonious, self righteous, phony establishment journalist. Wow. Welcome aboard. Now you're working together. So it's perfect for Howard Kurtz because. Uh, Jenk and I have been, uh, and, and Jimmy Dore and Ben Glebe, and now you, John, we have been uh, very tough on him, uh, appropriately so, and he will feel like, I've been criticized from the right and the left, therefore I'm doing my job, but don't mistake it, he has not been doing his job, not been doing it in any way. Yeah, self-fulfilling prophecy. I wish um, him the best of luck.